guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. Today I'm back with a crafty video and we are talking about brads. A good friend of mine asked me, how do you use these brads? There's so many cute ones in different sizes. So today I'm going to share with you how I use them in my craft projects and snail mail. So here's one project. It's a mini file flip book and I use brads. They are primarily used to bind things. So here you can see I use two brads to hold. There are three pages in this flip book. So I love that these brads come handy. So instead of using glue or a staple, I think they look better and they're decorative. So you have that and so you don't have the metal pieces sticking in the back. I simply lined it with another piece of paper on top. Another way to use your brad is to use it as a closure for your envelope flip books. Here's an envelope flip book I made. Used one brad and attach it to the flap of this envelope. We have the string tied around it so it anchors it down and you have your closure. Here's another example of how brads hold things together. We have a paper pinwheel and it holds all four corners to the center of this cute little paper pinwheel. It also acts as an embellishment. So here's an example of a paper bow. So you can definitely embellish your arts and craft pieces with these cute little brads. So the nice thing about brads nowadays is they come in different styles and sizes. When I was in school, the only brads that I was familiar with were these gold brads. Now we have these arts and crafts decorative brads that are wonderful for arts and crafts. Let me show you the next piece. Another way to use your brads is to create a fun interactive element in snail mail. And this is what we call the mail tag where you ask your pen pal a list of questions to get to know them better. So here I created miniature mail tags with my punch and held them with this decorative brad. It's so much fun to write and list down your questions and for the recipient it's fun to fan out and look and see what is in the tag. So here's another example of an interactive element in a flipbook using our brad here. It's holding two round pieces, one's a clear overlay on top of another piece of scrapbook paper. I think it's just fun and playful. You can definitely use this in a memory album or a memory keeper where you can put this on top and when the recipient pushes up the piece, it can reveal an image or a picture underneath. Brads are also fun to use in card making. Here's an example of a card. We see these cute mini brads holding this embellishment in the front. Another way to use that, we have another example here. I have a paper clip and it's used as a closure. It's basically holding this panel down. So once I push it over, it will reveal our little message there. It says, I love you a latte, and I love that you can use those cute mini brads again in your card making or flipbook. So that's the end of my crafty video for today. I hope the projects featured in this video gave you ideas on how to use your brads. I'd love to see your creations. Feel free to tag me on Instagram at Karamia's Corner. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.